My name is Josh Martin, and I'm here with my two best friends, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Tweedledum, how did you get started in the world of entertainment? I moved to Louisiana uh, when I was born, and then I moved to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> right. Don't you mean I was born in Louisiana? I was born in Louisiana, and then I moved to Dallas, Texas in 1994. And I got my first job in 1996 as a giant purple dinosaur. You know him. You love him. His name is Barney. That was your, really your first gig? It was my first, wow. first gig. Wow. Right? What was your first gig? Uh, I actually, my very first like booking booking was a, uh, I did a, uh, uh, it was a Southwest Airlines Visa commercial. And I played the lead guy's like best friend. And all that really happened uh, was that when he would use the visa card, like an airplane would fly by. So like in a restaurant, all the napkins and everything would blow. And I was just his best friend standing there who got hit in the face with a bunch of napkins. Comedy from the beginning, yes. Yes. right there, yes. physical. I was a killer on America's Most Wanted. As <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I got dark. Not, not the actor, I actually murdered someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What do you, you got a question? Uh, I do have a question. You know, Chuck, it has uh, been a few years since the last time we've ch got a chance to talk. Not it's, it's not that long. It hasn't been that long. It hasn't. It was. We did. We were talking earlier today. So, Colossal Con 2016. I was there. Yeah, you've been there, right? But you've now started a new con on your own with a, a buddy of all of ours, uh, Mr. John Swayze, That's who we know and love. Uh, and tell us a little bit about that. Uh, it's called Anime Dallas, and it involves the fandom called Anime. <laughs> And anyway, tell me more about that. It is an art form from Japan. Japan, tell me more about them. It's an island in the Sea of Japan. Islands, tell me more about those. They are typically volcanic in nature, and they grow from the sea, from magma, that comes from the center of the earth, also known as the... All right, let's go back to the convention. Yes, it's in Dallas, and people join you there in cosplay, which is a combination of the words costume and... Play. Do you wear costumes? Yes, I'm wearing one right now. Who are you exactly? I'm... We all know. Just say it. I'm scared. Josh, do you have a question? <laughs> I do, uh, Chris, you're best known for being Mr. Satan in the Dragon Ball franchise. Oh, what? Home. What has that meant to you over uh, the past 20 years? I tell you what, you know, it's actually been kind of interesting. Uh, the name Mr. Satan is kind of, you know, like, ooh, scary and evil and stuff like that. And I've really enjoyed, you know, kind of making that not that, you know, in a way, because he's obviously a big kind of loud mouth kind of, uh, and, 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 and in the moment he gets really scared and frightened and runs away. And, you know, that's not typically what we know of Satan. You know, he's pretty, pretty bold guy. You know, stay away from him. That's what I say. But Mr. Satan, if there's Mr. before it, it makes it okay. Yes. That's how I see it. Yes. Right? Mr. You know? Mr. Right, 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 exactly, oh, right, well, yeah, he's a murderer, no, this is Mr. Murderer, oh, well, very good, jolly to see you. Are you going to murder people, yes. <laughs> I have a question for you, Josh Martin, it's why do I need to have my glasses on? Oh, it says in your bio, no, we covered Barney, what was that like for almost 13 years? Um, like it? it was great, yes. Uh, it was uh, you were also the voice of Majin Buu, how's that been? Fantastic. Oh, see how the, he used the word fan? Is it cool, though, to have, like, Boo coming back? Like, wasn't that fun? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I had no idea what I was getting into all those years ago, and, and 19 years later, they keep calling me back, so thank you. Yes, thank you. We love working. Here, you got to ask a question. Man. Yes, ma'am. Um, Chris, you are also known for being Mr. Torg. In the Borderlands series, what was it like to take on that role and know he would become a staple voice in the series? Uh, you know, oddly enough, when I actually went into audition for that character, they didn't, you know, sometimes they give you the, the size, the breakdown, they have a picture of the character, they have a description of the character, and they have the lines they want you to read. Well, they didn't have, they didn't have the artwork done on Mr. Satan, so, or Mr. Torg, as it were, sorry. Uh, so they just had a picture of Randy Macho Man Savage. <laughs> <laughs> right and I immediately knew right at that very moment because I actually hit a buddy of mine his buddy's name Chad Klein he's done some anime and I hit him I was like I was like I'm gonna be this guy and he's like yeah how do you know that I go, I've been playing that guy for 15 years you know and so all I did was really kind of take that idea of that wrestler I've been kind of playing and I just 
amped him up even more based on the description. So I was like, okay, I'll take the idea of Hercule, huh, big bombastic, and just scream it and just go nuts. And I did. They liked it. And uh, uh, I've been very much uh, uh, happy to be a part of it. Uh, I'm not going to lie. It's a little strenuous on the voice. Uh, and uh, I uh, kind of maybe sometimes have to take that week off afterwards just because at the end of the day, though, those you know, you're trying to get high, really high or really low. It kind of it uh, cracks and goes on you. But uh, I have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, it's been a great, uh, great ride. And, uh, you know, we got some more uh, some more Borderlands coming, hopefully, one of these days. So yeah. one of these days. One of these days. Uh, Chuck. Yes. Uh, so my hero academia, yes. it's now had, uh, it's now had a film and a fourth season, That's correct. right? And who are you exactly in that show? Kurogiri. Yeah. He's like the Alfred of the villains. He's like a villain Alfred. Okay. So like and he's had a total in, in the movie and all four seasons, he's had 11 lines. 11? <laughs> no, maybe a little more, like 24, but not... You don't, like, stand back in the background, like, in Judgment? Type? No, but I do cool stuff, like I save him at Portal Inn, and like, come on, so you don't die. That'd be cool, I should have done his voice like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm Kurogiri, come on, so you don't die. That'd be great. Well, I used to be happy. I play a big block of cement in that show. <laughs> Typecasting. <laughs> I am Cement Man, Cementos, you know, and so... Which is a lot of fun. The show's great. I've watched the show and everything, but, uh, you know, I'd like to have a few more lines, too. I, what wouldn't does we all? block of cement say? What, are, what is your guy's quirk? Uh, he can do portals, and people jump portal. through. Yeah, it'd be the quirk that I would have, because, like, that, that'd be the best quirk, because when you needed to use the bathroom, you could go home to use your own bathroom. Yeah. That's, like, nobody likes public bathrooms. That's nobody. Like essential right there. That's, like, yes. number one, or yes. number two. <laughs> oh josh josh tell me you've been in a tribute band for the beastie boys for what seems like forever 10 years this year yeah. wow what is it like to sing those iconic songs it's pretty cool cool next question <laughs> what's what's the best uh single uh, most amazing moment for beastie boys tribute band that you've ever had um that, has, have any of them ever come to see you no they have not um, we did play with uh, Cypress Hill, a Two Live Crew, uh, a few other uh, 90s, 80s icons uh, last year in Florida as the opener. It was really... It was you really opened for Cypress Hill? Mix Master Mike <laughs> was the DJ as well. Yes, we were staying at the same hotel. We had a, we had a little brief moment. We, we, we was it like a love moment, like a, across the room? No, one of our guys is really forward, and so he was like, hey, uh, Mixmaster Mike, what's up? Uh, my name's Kyle Smith. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, right? Yeah. And uh, Mixmaster Mike, he's cool. And he's like, you mind if I take a picture? Yeah, no problem. Real quick. And then that was it, and we walked out of the hotel, and then later on that evening, we were at the gig and hanging out in dressing rooms, and our DJ, Eric, and Kyle, they wound up going down to catering, and Cypress Hill and Mixmaster Mike were sitting in their dressing room, and next thing you know, they were in the dressing room just hanging and chatting and talking and what else were they doing in there josh hanging and Cypress chatting Hill. and talking you can hanging. imagine they were playing pictionary <laughs> i think that's what it as meant. all great rap bands do <laughs> yes oh yeah no it's your question He's is back. it me oh. yeah oh chris yeah, josh. you also happen to lend your voice to the at&t rooster teeth show death battle Yes. Playing playing Scruff Mc S Scruff McGruff, sorry, the crime dog. McGruff. Scruff McGruff. Scruff McGruff. That's a tongue McGruff. twister if you haven't said it before. Scruff McGruff. Scruff McGruff, the crime dog. What was it like to take on the iconic character? You know, I didn't know he had a first name. I just need to, that to be known. I thought it was just McGruff. Scruff McGruff had never been McGruff. McGruff. McGruff the crime dog. I've known him as McGruff the crime dog. I did. Uh, you know, I actually, I had a bit of a relationship with Screw Attack and those guys, uh, which is now really Rooster Teeth in that, you know, they've been absorbed into that. Um, 
And uh, I really liked those guys, and I thought they were great, and what they were doing was great. And uh, when they had a Dan Habiki versus Mr. Satan uh, death battle, I begged them to let me do the voice, right? I begged and begged and begged and begged, and ultimately, they didn't want to upset anyone over at Funimation or, you know, rifle, ruffle any feathers because they were trying to establish a good relationship there and everything. So ultimately, like, Chris, look, we're not going to do that, but... We do want you and Sabbat to do this, our very first animated, like fully cartoon animated uh, one, and it's going to be McGruff the Crime Derg Dog. McGruff the Crime Derg. <laughs> McGruff the Crime Derg. <laughs> McGruff the Crime Dog versus Smokey the Bear death battle. Uh, yeah, no, it was really fun. Uh, I thought I thought it was really written well. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a lot. I I tried to do my best to kind of mimic the voice, but uh, uh, ultimately, I you know I think I thought I made it my own. And Sabbath did his his Smokey the Bear, and I thought honestly the whole thing was hilarious. So I was super happy to, to be a part of it. I did, uh, I did oh I did Iron Man, and that's the first time I ever did like a big YouTube show. And it was wild because like I did it and then they dropped the video and then you're like, wow, there's 10,000. Wow, there's 100. Th wow, there's half a million views. Right. And you're like, that was that's that's the like you just watched it like rack up. It was freaky. Yeah, no, those are great. Those are great. I enjoy that very much. Uh, Chuck. Yes. So um, anime. It's good. How does it make you feel? Makes me feel funny inside. Like you've just maybe eaten something that might have been touched to, to a fish that was dead. Yeah. That's how it makes me feel. You know, Chuck, you and I actually have a lot in common being uh, somewhat educators in this voiceover world that we know. Uh, and you've started this uh, Now Voice This. Uh, it's now in its sort of third go round. All right, we're now in the fourth go round. Fourth, fourth will be this summer. The fourth go round. Yeah. Uh, you brought people in to do voices from all over the world, the actually. And uh, Seattle, yeah, country, where 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 is this going next? Uh, it's going next to uh, I don't know. I usually make it up as I go along, and I don't really know when I'm going to do the next one. Right. <laughs> right I, I did the last one with Anime Dallas, so I'm looking. I'm thinking I'll do a convention in the summer sometime oh, around. An actual convention yeah, based around do do it because right? uh, I did a live round at Anime Dallas, which was fun. Someone from the oh. live round got to go straight to the finals, so. No, oh, into the finals of yeah. this next fourth round. Yeah. Right. No, no, of the, the, that was how the, the finals were decided online, and then one person from the live round got to just join the finals. Oh, join the finals. Yeah. Okay. Because it starts with like 20, 2,500 people submit, and then it whittles down to like 10 yeah. or two. No, you get a lot of one. submissions. I got, to be, I got to be a judge in one of the first round of it. And stuff. Thank it you so fun. much. Yeah. No, it, was, it was really a blast. And, Actually, some of the people who come through my class were some of those people. That's right. That's right. You know, we're, it's, so, it's a good opportunity um, for people. So you really kind of see where who people are really serious about doing those things. They really get involved with anything and everything they can. So if you're serious about it, I'll probably start seeing your name uh, pop up and things like that. It's true. Basis. It's true. Here, let me ask Josk, Josk a question. Josk. Your name is now Josk. Josk. <laughs> it seems not only have you and Chris Ranger have an on-screen friendship. Friendship? I just said friendship. Yeah, you did. It's a yeah. disease now, but in real life you do. What is it, what is it meant for you two to have such a close bond as friends? Oh, that's sweet. Uh, it's, it, it's cool. It's super cool. Yeah, right. Yeah. No, we've known each other since 95, and uh, we've been fortunate enough to not only uh, go to school together and hang out together, but work together uh, in comedy troops through school, and then we didn't even know when we got the parts in Dragon Ball Z that they would eventually become None. best friends on, on the show, and it was just kind of fortuitous, I think the word is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's cool. I dig it. Yeah, we get to do this together do these conventions together and yeah, I mean, honestly, makes it easy. I mean, because, you know, I mean, Josh, we've been, you know, we've been really good friends for a long time, you know, and uh, for this to kind of work out in this way and that we get to do things like this together and uh, talk to fans and, you know, have this relationship on and off the show, as it were, you know, and we uh, we always get to talk about who who likes to go in and record first and stuff like that. So it's like this little kind of, you know, thing and we like it, you know, it's it's it's, really it's sweet. It's sweet. <laughs> yeah, we have. We have. Yeah, just cut, cut. 
I'm gonna need some water. Is this camera on? Is this camera on right here? Check, check one, two. Who's next? I forget, you, t- you asked. That's you me asked now. Um, Chris. Have any bad words yet? No, I don't think I'm, we have. Ever. No. Really good about it. It's very that impressed. is like amazing. I alluded to a questionable interview, but that's okay. That's all right. Um, some fans may not know, but you also happen to teach voice acting classes, we alluded to. What has it been like to educate the people in the craft of voice acting? Uh, you know what's great, Josh, is, you know, really, for me, voice acting, acting in general is really about experience, you know? I really like to try to give that message that what I was kind of taught in understanding yourself and, and others. Uh, you know, you can't know who you are until you know who you are not, and the only way to do that is through experience involving yourself going through the process, you know? And uh, I really like to just... Uh, kind of give back in a small way, but I think the really smart thing is I do is I bring in more talented friends of mine to help in that process, you know, and let them really uh, in, involve their own message, their own experiences to uh, uh, future voice actors and actors in general. Uh, so, he likes to work less. yeah, so the smart thing was is yes, I have knowledge, but I have friends who are way more talented than I am that I can pay to do that for me. So, no, there you go. That's all I got. Oh, I have a question. Who, here's you next. Jo, uh, Chuck Huber. Uh, well, you, you joined. Uh, so uh, you would like, you joined the cast of Dragon Ball Fighters uh, lately. Did you do that recently? Yeah. Fighters? That's been recent? I don't you don't know? I did. I recorded You can't remember. I did. Yeah? I think there was a DLC for Android 7. Did he pop up? Yeah. You know who isn't in Fighter, Fighter Z? Who? Me. Simon. That's okay. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> uh, Chuck, yeah. do you have any new projects coming up? I mean, tell us about something new. Give me something new. Nothing I mean, just screw the NDAs. Let's just blow through that right. stuff, right? Just tell me all about it. Uh, uh, no, I, d- I don't have any. I don't have anything. I, d- I wish I, I did. I would screw it up right now. I'd, I'd break you don't have it. Any simul dubs going no, on right now? No, no, nothing. I am currently uh, uh, doing subtitles for a, a Shakespeare uh, movie, Twelfth Night, that I, I produced and edited. And I'm doing what's called real English subtitles, so it's like Shakespeare, but then the subtitles are like, yeah, whatever, man, you know. Oh, that is cool. So it's fun. So what they're saying is one... You know, yeah, it's a Shakespeare, and, and then, and yeah, and that force... I am my lord as well, derived as he, possessed, and... Yes, and like, yeah, I'm a big dude too, you know. I right, you <laughs> like this a lot. Right? <laughs> Hey there, Josh. You're one of the actors who used to act at the old Funimation studio at the Frost Bank building. What was it like to do recordings there? It was weird because it was a bank building. And people looked at us weird. They did. Because there was mostly bank-type people going in and out to do bank right. business. And then you had us, you know, young uh, actor people coming in and out. <laughs> Smoking out front. Anymore, yes, they that? did. They did. I, do, you remember the, the do you remember the elevator? Oh, 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 oh I missed that. They yeah. did. Yeah, do you remember the elevator? Like, you, that's how you met people at Funimation? Like, you ended up in the elevator with them? You'd be like, oh, hey, man, who are yeah, you? You must be, a yeah. voice, you must yeah. be an actor, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. You're not here for banking. Oh, sweet. <laughs> and then, it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do I have to open an account to audition? <laughs> Is that a thing? Right. Is like a toaster, but an anime career? Here you ask a question. Bank building. <laughs> Super cool. Uh, C- Chris, something I didn't know. You work on a, uh, a great time hopping show, Bacano. Is that how you say that? Yes. Yeah, back in 2007, I guess it was. What was it like uh, working on that series? Uh, Tyler Walker is a good buddy of mine. Uh, really, I think he's a pretty good uh, one of the one of the one of the more nuanced directors up at Funimation, actually. You know, and yeah, quite quite a talented musician as well. Uh, but uh, uh, that show was really cool. It was one of the few. I, I very I don't quite often watch a lot of anime, but that's actually one of the animes I did watch, and I just I like the. I, I'm very much into you know I guess you know, mafia, mafioso, you know, so it really had this fun kind of godfather feel with these immortals and, uh, and, uh, just overall, just, I, I, it was a good experience. I didn't have a lot of lines. I didn't have a lot of involvement, but, uh, I was, uh, uh, Gustavo. Hey boss, how you doing? You know, I was just a big Italian guy. So, uh, but, uh, no, really cool show. If you haven't seen that, go watch Bacchano. It's super cool. For sure. Oh, uh, Chuck. Yes. So, 
tell me, is there a way for fans to keep uh, with up with you online? Uh, for uh, uh, online, do you have a Twitter account? Yes, Chuck underscore Huber at the Twitter, or you can just you know um, find me on the Instagram as Charles Cody Huber, or uh, only old people use Facebook. Do you have any final messages for like the fans? You know, just like a, a positive word of encouragement to give out to the world and uh, in and this future. Peanut butter is a great snack in a spoon. What about that apple thing? That was a good one. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, if you, you can eat whatever you want, whatever you want to eat, you can eat it. Just eat an apple first. Right. It's life lesson, guys. Do that. Do you have any final words, Josh? Online, where can they find you? <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out that apple a day <laughs> thing. It's not an apple a day. It's an apple a meal. Apple per meal, bef- pr- apple pre meal per meal. Uh, well, no, see, you see what that did to me? Eat whatever you want. Yeah. That's the point. Like, if you want to eat, like, you know, ice cream for breakfast. Right, ice cream for breakfast. You got to have an apple first. Yes. Right? That's it. But, but then the point is, at that point, you, you may not want that ice cream, right? Or just a little bit of it. Or, or but then you've already had a freaking apple. You just have a bite of ice cream. Right. You're like, you're happy. Then you had an apple and a bite of ice cream. That's a, I'm going to have that for breakfast off, tomorrow. And you go out and you get in the damn grass and you, get, and you feel the world around you. The magnetic. You electricity flowing. Pulsing magnetic energy, it's like lava, there's magma, it's like hot liquid magma under the earth, Josh, pulsating. Get involved. <laughs> Good, night, everybody. Good night, thank you. This has been Anime on Location. I'm Josh Martin. I'm Chris Rager. I'm Chuck Huber. Hubbard. Huber? Huber. Hubert. Huber. <laughs>